Friends, today we will check electronic pressure switch from a Samsung washing machine. To check the electronic pressure switch, you need a tester that can measure the frequency or an oscilloscope. Then we take a syringe for 10 cubes and a hose, power supply unit for 5V, and wires for easy connection. Now we assemble the power supply chain. I will have it as a red plus and black as a minus, yellow is the exit. Now I will check if my block really gives up 5V. Add a little. Everything is now ready to start checking. We connect the wires as you see in the diagram. On the tester, select the frequency measurement mode. And one of the tester probes is absolutely any we connect to the output that is designated as the output. On the tester, select the frequency measurement mode. Now we pull the plunger of the syringe to mark, 10 and put a hose on our sensor, and the pressure switch is checked in three stages. One position is an empty tank. From the output contact we see a frequency of 26.3 Ks. Now we displace air from the syringe, about 3 cubes, and this will be the second position, the tank is full. And now we should have a frequency of Ks. Reaching this frequency, the washing machine stops picking up water. And now we displace another two, three cubes this overflow position. We have to have a frequency, ties and this frequency is reached. You can see the error of the display and the machine. We'll go into emergency mode and drain all the water. Do not confuse pressure switches from other washing machines. Their frequency readings will be completely different. For example, their pressure stat gives out a frequency in match. And remember to measure voltage resistance. Or something else is useless busy. For checking electronic pressure switches, only the frequency needs to be measured. That's all. Thanks to all.